Giggity tubes. How is she hanging? Pretty good here. Today we got our uh, six by ten foot trailer on the back of the tractor, pulling her down to the garage. I uh, have a, a relative that would like to borrow it, and uh, I just wanted to do a bit of service work to it before I let it out. So I uh, have to check a few things. It doesn't have brakes on this one, so we don't have to do anything there, which is good. But I want to give the uh, bearings a greasing and uh, a couple other small things, nothing major. And uh, yeah, get it all ready for them. So let's head her down to the garage and uh, we'll get doing some service work. So first of all, uh, the bungee cordy things that were on here that they go around and lock on there. I don't really know why they have that because they have these locking things too, right? They do those as well and they seem to work fine, but I see they're getting a little weather beaten too and stripped in here. Let's see if I can get you in and show you here. I think for now they're still fine, but uh, you can see when you pull all the weather cracks and stuff, you know, from the from the sun and stuff but I think they're still okay for now but basically that's like a rubber insert thing that you have to uh, unbolt I guess it just I guess it just bolts in there somehow there's no nothing on the other side that I can feel so it must just screw into something and then that piece would come out I guess there's a bolt way in there but uh, anyways I think for now they're alright those things you can't just kind of buy at TSC you have to go right to the Triton website or uh, my guy I buy my trailers from would have those. But the uh, bungee cords were getting a little tired too, so I uh, picked up some new ones today. So we're going to install these. They just kind of go on. Funny thing was, most of the bungee cord was fine except where it turns like here, it was all starting to split through there. So I'm like, oh, well, that's not good. So. They're, they're cheap, we'll throw on a couple of new ones, they might only last another year, and, and then that's it again, but we don't know. So, I'll just crank those back on. There's one on each side. That should be good. And that's kind of all that does, is that. So, we'll do the other side here too. I don't really have too much to do to this trailer, but... Um, without having brakes, there's not really too much to it, right? So, and this one, let's check the weathering on this one too. After, let's see how it's looking. Good, not one too tight because you just squish them out, and that's probably why they split, really because they're too tight, but anyways. Um, okay, so we got to take that off again. Let's check the, uh, the uh, weather cracking in this one. Yeah, there's a little bit in there, but it's not quite as bad. One thing I don't like about these uh, older things is here, if you don't grab it in the right spot, if you grab it here and pull it off, Catch your finger right there, and it's really sharp, and it just <laughs> done it a couple of times, and I kind of learned. So whenever I see someone grabbing for it to open, I'm like, oh wait, wait, let me show you, because <laughs> that would hurt. So yeah, I guess that's good. Um, okay, now we just uh, have to do a bit of greasing. That's kind of about all I got to do to it. Uh, maybe check tire pressures and stuff. See if everything's good. I don't have a spare for this, but uh, probably sh should have one. But. Uh, 
Uh, I probably kick myself one of these times when I have a problem. I don't have a spare. But anyways, let's let's uh, get a jack under this, and then we'll uh, be able to spin it and uh, give it some grease too. I'm not going to go super crazy. I'm just going to put five or ten pumps in. That should be fine. Okay, like I was saying, I'm not going to go crazy with the grease. I don't, I've never done it, so it's probably just factory from factory grease, but... Oh, it's blue. Well, hello, Mr. Crow. You scared my bum. <laughs> oh, turd. Um, okay. So this stuff I'm using is actually uh, axle and chassis lube. Oh, why did that not go on? There. I just want to get it so I can see it starting to come out. Just like that. I think that's lots. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Whoo, mama. Okay, look at like the Spider-Man color grease now. That's sweet. So we'll give that a bit of a spin. Give it a spin. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I can't remember the rest of it. Um, okay. So. Probably should get some of that grease back out of there. For some reason. There. Not too bad, I suppose. Seems to be spinning good, no noises. stopping kind of as fast as I would like. Um, one that spins a whole lot is not good. If it spins like this and it kind of slows down like that, that means it's well greased. This probably needs a little more, but I'm going to do these up and then uh, we'll drive around a little bit with it. Could put something in the back like a mini X or something maybe. Could do that too, but uh, oh well, it's all right. Let's get to the other one and uh, jack it up and do the same. Okay, let's just get you out of that hair a bit more there. I think we're reloaded. Oh. Maybe I better get a towel just a little bit closer there. Okay. Smurf grease out of here. It's funny, this side seems a lot... I don't know if I want to say greasier. <laughs> it's a lot more liquidier or something. So you can see all the, the gooey, where are you, brownie, gooey crap coming out now. So yeah, I did do this to the other side too, got a little bit more into it than just 10 pumps. It's kind of waste and grease, but at least you got a peace of mind that, you know, yeah, it's been definitely flushed. I think I'm just going to do that once more. It's coming out pretty nice and red now, so... I think that's pretty good. You don't want to go overkill because you don't want to waste the grease, but you can see that's coming out nice and red now. And that's about the color it should be, so... Okay, so we didn't need much more grease, but a little bit. in there with a towel so I'll just scrape a bit out 
just so the cap has somewhere to sit. I think that should be pretty good. Okay, now we gotta clean out the cap. Smurf grease in there too. Ooh, geez. It's still greasy. Smurf grease, eh? Okay. Well, they must have to squeeze a lot of Smurf to get a tube of grease out of them. We might guess. Okay, a tube and a bit of grease later, and uh, 52 towels. We're good. Alright, another thing I want to do is uh, check the tire pressure, maximum load, 1,820 pounds at 50 PSI coal. Ooh, that's pretty warm. That's pretty, uh, pretty pressury. So let's get our gauge on here. Yeah, we're at 37 or 8, so we'll go a little higher with it. Good thing I checked. Love the air compressor. A little more for good measure. That's pretty good. Okay, so that jack can come down, and uh, yeah, I ran over a worm. Poor guy, you go back to the grass, mister. Uh, poor guy, <laughs> he's probably in a lot of pain. Uh, let's head her over to the other side, check that tire pressure, see if it's lower too, that's interesting. All right, so 50 PSI, holy. Let's see, what are we at here? Yeah, about the same. 34-ish. So we'll crank her up some. My little screws came out of the uh, the dial there. Hear them rattling around. Huh. I think I need a better one of these anyways. This one's good, but it doesn't stay on itself. I think you can, it's got the clamp do we but it never actually has ever worked too well now, that's not much good so I always have to push and hold normally they'll stay on themselves but okay what are we at bang on 50 I like that all right she'll bounce like crazy now <laughs> this thing's so light that's what happens it ends up bouncing all over you if there's nothing in it all right so one other thing I really don't like about this trailer though um, it's not a major huge deal, but it was it was a bigger deal when I didn't have so many tie downs. When I first got this trailer, it only had uh, let's see if we can show you here these tie downs here. It only had three of them. So three, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so I added another two. Slid all these down a little bit, and I added another two. I think it was on the no on the back. These two back here were the new ones on the very back side. Um, but the trouble with them. And like I say, it's not so much of a deal now because before, if you wanted to tie something, you had to slide these things around like that. What happened is you get crap in the tracks and uh, they ended up seizing in there and you couldn't really move them. They're not too bad now because I didn't, I did it not too long ago. I uh, cleaned them all out, uh, the tracks all out and stuff. We were going to use this trailer and we never did. So but I'm just going to give them a quick little blast again. Hopefully that'll be uh, all right. Put 
Doesn't seem to take much. A couple little pine needles and maybe some little bit of dirt or something and they're all bunged up. But uh, that's not too bad. We'll do this other side. And we'll take it for a little drive. And I think we'll be good. snow is even worse. Yeah, the ice and snow is even worse on these things. Okay, they're all moving pretty good. Just kind of realign them. Kind of like tying stuff up near the front more, so. Something, something like that. These are adjustable now. Sweet. All right, I'm pretty happy. We'll just go for a little tour around and uh, park it, I guess. I probably should lock this down. I guess that's all right. Um, I don't know whether I have a pin for this, this lock here. Should probably get something for it. Uh, let me see. let me see what I got in the shop here. Got one of these Deweys. I think that'll fit. One of these Deweys. Oh yeah. Okay, that's good. Um, okay, let's go for a little tour around and then uh, we'll uh, go park her back up at the house, I guess. Should be good to go. Just want to give them a little bit of a spin with some weight on them. Well, the boards and a little bit of aluminum, there's not much weight there, but that's alright. Okay, so my funeral is soon to be in, so I have to do this real quick. Let's fire up. Right. H. We'll give the tires a little spin, and off we go. Might get a little windy on you here. That's it. Uh, we're all set. Uh, funeral has just come in, so I gotta go back and service that after, and then I gotta dig another one <laughs> for tomorrow. Friday, I think I got a day off, but then I gotta get prepared for stuff for Saturday, so boy, oh boy. Crazy. Busy, busy. So anyways, that's my day, so I gotta get rocking. Thanks again for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and we'll catch you all later. Just about forgot, FedEx dropped me a box off this morning, all wrecked. That's awesome, thanks FedEx. I'm sure they smushed something on there, it was too heavy. Oh. Oh, yeah. Uh, anyways, nothing major, just some uh, I got a, one of you just left me this uh, comment the other day about where you could get those little rubber tips for that hand tachometer thing. I got some. From Summit Racing. Sweet stickers even. Holy. So I got uh, a couple from my stepdad too. So there's, there's uh, a couple of the flat ones. And there's a pointy guy. And there's a pointy guy. And there's a pointy guy. And then another flat one, I thought, you know what, and just put them in the can, they'll, they'll last probably forever, so, sweet. I just wanted to share that with you too, so, sweet Summit stickers. 
Awesome. And it looks like a bit of a catalog. Uh-oh. Too much money in the Jeep. <laughs> but anyway, it's got a rock. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you later.